The Blast Furnace Pulse Rifle is back in Destiny 2. It's currently dropping from the new Onslaught activity with the Into the Light update. And upon its first release back in Black Armory, it was held in very high regard and most PvP players considered it the best Pulse Rifle in the game. Today we're going to do a review of the Blast Furnace, check out the stats and all the perks so we can see what the god roll is for this Pulse Rifle. And I'll also be answering the question, does it still live up to the hype as the best Pulse Rifle in the game? So Guardians, let's get into it. Yo, it's time to subscribe to Paid to Be Famous. What are you doing? Subscribe to Paid to Be Famous. Subscribe to Paid to Be Famous. Like the video, come on. Hell You know, you know yeah. the drill button. And slap that mic button. Woo! The Blast Furnace is a legendary pulse rifle. It sits in the kinetic slot and it's an aggressive burst, hard hitting four burst pulse rifle. If we compare this to some other four bursts like the Belisarius D from the comp playlist and the Disparity pulse rifle, the Blast Furnace has the highest base range and stability compared to those two. And range and stability is very important on these pulse rifles. Other areas of this pulse rifle that are kind of lackluster are the zoom factor. Blast Furnace has an 18 zoom while the other two pulse rifles have a 19 zoom and the Blast Furnace does have the lowest recoil direction out of these two, but fortunately for us, there are perks and barrels that we can choose to make up for that. Now getting into the barrel options, normally in PvP you want to optimize your weapons for range so you have less damage drop off, but the base range on this pulse rifle is 79, so just with accurized rounds for your magazine and a range masterwork, you're going to be sitting at 99 range, which is more than enough range for the crucible. And like I said earlier, the recoil direction on this pulse rifle is not so good, sitting at 65. So I would say 100% you guys are going to want to go for arrowhead break for the barrel. Going to give you a plus 30 to your recoil direction and a plus 10 to your handling. So your recoil direction is going to go all the way up to 95, which is very good. When it comes to the magazine options, like I just stated, you're probably going to want to go with accurized rounds if you are trying to spec this out for PVP anyways. But if you're looking to take this thing into PVE activities, anything that boosts your magazine is going to help you out a lot. And you have appended mag, tactical mag, and extended mag. All three of these are going to give you a little bit more in your magazine. Now in the first column of trait perks you have keep away, shoot to loot, kinetic trimmers, zen moment, head seeker, snapshot, and perpetual motion. Keep away is an S tier perk for a pulse rifle. Increases reload range and accuracy when no targets are in close proximity. If no enemies are within 15 meters, you're going to get 10 range, 30 reload speed, and it also decreases your accuracy cone growth by 5%. So as long as you're able to keep your distance from enemies, this perk is pretty much going to be active at all times, helping you land those shots. Then up next, I want to talk about another S tier perk for the Crucible Zen Moment. It states that causing damage to this weapon reduces recoil and flinch over time. Going to grant you flinch resistance reduces visual weapon shake, reduces reticle bounce, I really, really enjoy this perk on pulse rifles. It turns your pulse into a laser beam. Zen moment is definitely what I'm going to be looking for on my god roll and you guys should be too. Moving on from there, I also want to talk about head seeker. Now head seeker usually isn't in the third column. It's usually in the fourth column. So this pulse rifle is going to be able to drop with a very rare perk combination because head seeker is in the third column. Head seeker states that body shots landed with this weapon increase precision damage and aim assist for a short time. Body shots landed while this perk is active refresh the time after dealing non-precision weapon damage it increases your precision multiplier by 0.1175 and it gives you 10 more aim assist. The buff lasts for 0.55 seconds and dealing additional non-precision damage will refresh the timer. So yet again, we have another S tier perk for the Crucible on this pulse rifle. And then another perk that I wanted to talk about in this column for you PVE players is Kinetic Tremors. It states that sustained kinetic damage to target emits a shockwave that damages any nearby targets. Now, once again, Kinetic Tremors is usually in the fourth column but you see it here in the third column, which makes this really unique. And you can pair it with a lot of good things that come in the fourth column. And the reason Kinetic Tremors is so good for PVE on this pulse rifle is that it takes 11 shots for this to proc for pulse rifles. And since this is an aggressive burst, firing four shots each burst, you can get this to proc in just three bursts where all the other pulse rifles are just three burst pulse rifles. So it actually takes four bursts to get this to activate on other pulse rifles. So if you're looking to take this into PVE, definitely consider getting kinetic tremors on this. Moving on to the last column, you've got rapid hit, desperate measures, 
Firefly, Kill Clip, One for All, Feeding Frenzy, and Rampage. Every single one of these perks besides a Rapid Hit is a damage dealing perk. And seeing as how the reload and stability isn't too bad on this, for PvP I would stay away from Rapid Hit. States that Rapid Precision Hits temporarily increase stability and reload speed. Rapid Hit is normally a really good perk, but if it's in the third column, because the fourth column, like I just said, are all damage perks, so you don't really want to give up a damage perk for a faster reload. So I would skip out on rapid hit if I were you. Next up, we have desperate measures. Weapon final blows grant bonus damage. Melee and grenade final blows grant a larger damage bonus that can stack. So this maxes out at three stacks, and each stack that you get gives you 10%. So stack one is 10%, stack two is 20, stack three is 30%, and just a weapon kill is going to grant 10% increased damage for seven seconds and grenade or melee kills grant 20% increased damage for seven seconds and if you happen to get a melee or grenade kill within that seven seconds it's going to tack on another 10% and max you out at that 30%. Now don't get me wrong 30% extra damage is very good but having to get a kill plus a melee or grenade kill is a little bit too much for me especially when it comes to pvp. It's not really an issue too much in pve but when you're in the crucible it is easier said than done and there are other damage perks that are easier to proc that give you almost as much damage as desperate measures moving on from there we've got firefly states that precision kills with this weapon increase reload speed and cause the target to explode dealing solar damage to nearby enemies now when the target explodes in pvp it deals 80 damage within a four meter radius and it also grants 50 reload speed for 60 seconds this is more of a pve perk in my opinion Firefly is definitely a perk to consider if you're taking this into PvE. Then up next we have Kill Clip. Reloading after a kill grants increased damage, specifically a 25% increased damage. Now the base TTK on this pulse rifle in the Crucible is 0.73 seconds on any Guardian tier 10 to tier 8 and that is going to require 8 crits. But when you get Kill Clip active it's going to drop the TTK to 0.67 and you're only going to need to hit six crits and one body. So for the Crucible, Kill Clip is definitely your best option in this last column. Then up next, we have One For All. Hitting three separate targets increases damage for a moderate duration. This perk is definitely easier to proc in PvE than it is the Crucible, and you can actually pair this with Kinetic Trimmers. If you get that Kinetic Trimmer Blast to go off, if it hits two other targets, it will proc One For All. And that's going to give you a 35% increase to damage for 10 seconds. Then we have Frenzy. Being in combat for an extended time increases damage, handling, and reload speed for this weapon until you are out of combat. After being in combat for 12 seconds, it grants a 15% increase to damage, 100 handling, and 100 reload speed for 7 seconds. Frenzy is a fantastic perk in PvE, and it's also a very good perk for the Crucible, because once you get it to proc, it actually does change your TTK, bumps it down to 0.67, and you only need to hit 7 crits instead of 8 crits to get a kill on Guardians Tier 10 to Tier 8. Then last but not least, we have Rampage. Kills with this weapon temporary grant increased damage. It stacks 3 times. One stack is 10% increase to damage. Two stacks is 21% and three stacks is 33.1%. Rampage is one of the biggest damage increases out of all these perks, but you have to land three kills to get that 33.1% not that easy to do in the crucible pretty easy to do in pve but if you want a damage dealing perk for pve like i said earlier you probably just want to go with one for all for that 35 percent increase to damage so guardians what is the god roll for the crucible well me personally i'm going with arrowhead break accurized rounds zen moment kill clip range masterwork and perhaps a targeting adjuster mod it's going to give you 99 range a 95 recoil direction you're going to be hitting up to 42 meters in the crucible and yes guardians this perk combination does make this one of the best pulse rifles in the game. I do have to mention if you guys aren't a fan of Zen Moment, you could also switch that out for Headseeker Kill Clip. I have not seen Headseeker Kill Clip combination on a pulse rifle, so that is also a pretty unique role. And then for you PvE players, I would definitely go with something like Kinetic Trimmers and One for All, or perhaps Kinetic Trimmers and Firefly. That would be a very good role for PvE. But as always, Guardians, those are just my opinions, my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think about this pulse rifle. Let me know what role you guys got on yours down below in the comments. If you guys are new here and need more Destiny 2 in your life, subscribe to the channel. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Follow me over on Twitch for the live streams, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace.